That's a child on top of a literal mountain of trash trying to collect things to sell next door in the local slum covered in animal feces, open sewage, and air pollutants in New Delhi, India, one of the most polluted cities on Earth, killing almost 2 million people per year, earning India the world's highest death rate from chronic respiratory diseases and asthma. But why is this city so polluted and can it be fixed? So I met up with Vivek, a local from New Delhi, to show me how this all began. Where are we headed first? We're going to the Alswana Landsfell. Where they store trash? There are around four of them in Delhi. We're gonna go visit three major ones. Okay, Vivek, I notice a lot of traffic right now. Does that contribute to the pollution problem? That, that contributes a lot to the pollution because they never switch off their engines because they want the air conditioning to be on. More concisely, vehicle emissions contribute towards nearly half of the pollution in the air. They don't give a rip. People love to hug. And as we finally made it out of the morning traffic, I saw this in the distance. Look at that mountain trash. If you're unlucky enough to live by that trash mountain, you're definitely losing half your life just by living in proximity to this. Imagine living next to this giant trash truck right here filled with trash about to add to the mountain. All this dust, you have water lines it looks like. A bunch of goats, look at that. Gotta be terrible for anyone nearby, right? It's hard to breathe here. Uh, very hard to breathe here. You guys live here? Yes. Um, is it hard to breathe here? Yes. Yes. Do, do people and their families have health problems? Dada go bhi hai. Because of the trash because in the of air? the trash and the air and the pollution. Okay. Sometimes they burn it to get rid of the trash. Okay. Then the air quality become worse. They'll catch asthma too like their grandparents. Okay, goodbye. You're welcome. Hi, do you live here? Yes, sir. He's been living here since his childhood. He's born here actually. How many years? He's Do you have any breathing problems? Would you move out of here if you could, financially? Okay. This slum was here before the trash pile? Trash pile was first. Why would they want to build homes near the trash pile? Uh, very, very poor people move to India. They just stay here because they can easily get some work to do sure. by the garbage. Most people that live in this slum work in trash processing? But many of them, yes. Many, many of them get sick and die young? Oh, yes. There's a lot of cow poop right here. That's open sewage. Look at all that. Oh man, look at all those flies. Let's keep the windows up. Trash mountains right there, your view every day of the week, right in the middle of the city. That's if I were to eat the street food, Vivek, would I get sick? Anything here, yeah, it's not good. That's crazy. The vote banks, the government give them free, free electricity and water. Okay. So that's why they love to live here, because they don't pay anything. Those car factors. All right. You might get all kinds of Let's talk to Vivek. Vivek, you feel comfortable coming out here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't feel like we're gonna get sick? No, uh, no, no, no. So, we went in. Wow, this is pretty insane. The living conditions, look at that cow. That's just cooking right there, yeah? Yeah. Would you get sick if you ate the food here? Yeah. Straight up, just cooking right there next to the trash. People live here on a daily basis. This is a real thing. Just kids, just chilling, having a good time. Hey. The families living, eating, and working in filth right next to the landfill was a sad sight, and apparently... Political parties have promised that in one year they'll try to make it. Okay, 12 months. I hope so. And as we walked back to the car, I found my first pool of infamous black water, teeming with freshly born mosquitoes carrying diseases like dengue, malaria, Zika, and yellow fever. So this is the black water you talked about. Yeah. This will give you diseases. All the mosquitoes. Okay, let's stay away from that. <laughs> Staying away from the mosquitoes. Dogs will be dogs. Malaria on my mind, Vivek wanted to show me the local vet, where I stumbled upon some super cute puppies and some hopeful teenagers. Little puppy, he's so cute. What's his name? Johnny, Johnny. Johnny! Hi. What's his name? Buku. Buku. Hi, Buku. He's cute. Hi. He is from here? How is life here? Are you guys happy? Life is okay. Let's continue. Let's continue. Okay. Okay. Do you have plans to live here or do you want to get out of this area? I want to move one day. Where do you guys want to move? They want to go to America. America? Yeah. <laughs> Given the state of poverty a lot of these kids were born into and the fact that they'll probably have to take care of their older family when they become adults, it's unlikely any of them will actually get to the US. On that depressing note, Vivek took me inside the vet slash human doctor's clinic. Uh, the doctor is not here. The doctor's not here? So what's going on in here? When I poked my head in, it didn't look as hygienic or medically grade clean as you might have hoped. So I said my goodbye. Okay. Hi. Cute puppy. 
What can I say? What's a native like? Goodbye. Namaste. 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 See you. But keep in mind, this is literally right next to the Trash Mountain. So we got back on the road, and Vivek began driving me to a location where they burned human bodies into the most polluted river in India. We are visiting a crematorium now in Delhi. This is the largest crematorium. They burn the bodies here. They burn the bodies here. Yeah, you can now see the pollution from the burning. Just see the heat steam in the air. These are human bodies being burned. All that smoke. This pollutes the local river. It pollutes the local river and the air also. And you're gonna show me that river? So this is Yamuna River. Yamuna? Most holy river in India after Ganges. So all the ashes go in the Ganges River? Yes. Why? Uh, because that is known as the holiest river. If you want to get salvation or get rid of circle of birth and rebirth, rebirth the tradition wise is there. Okay, so this is all dirty water right here. All you can see, you're polluted by the factories and polluted by the throwing all the garbage in the river. I see. Do you get in those boats and collect trash? There's hardly any social security, so a lot of people have to risk their lives. Do they get born into these jobs? Yeah. After seeing the most polluted river in India, Vivek took me to an old coal-powered power plant. Oh, I can see it right there. Tall coal power plant. Coal generates nearly 75% of all electricity in India, contributing to smog, respiratory illnesses, acid rain, and airborne toxins. But luckily for the people breathing air, Indian power producers are investing heavily in renewable future with the hopes to have a net zero carbon emission by 2070 and as we left the power plant Vivek took me to get some lunch before we headed to the next landfill little did I know my lunch was literally across the street from this landfill this is the largest market for chicken and eggs like in Delhi landfill is literally right next to the food market the chicken that I've been eating in the hotel from that market and right across the street <laughs> Jesus <laughs> My cameraman was a tad squeamish when he learned where our last few meals had come from. Man, these boys are thick. Lots of flies out here. Look at all these vultures above us. All these fecal matter. Uh, open air little chicken market right here. They didn't get died. That sucks. All Oop. the insects in there. Maggots? Yeah. <laughs> Dang, it's sludge. All these maggots. All these chickens just chilling in here, waiting to get murked. Looks like a pretty brutal life. You definitely don't want to be born a chicken out here. Get the bubbling soup right here. Why is it bubbling? Bike is just stuck in sludge. Look at all that sludge right there. Whoa. Okay. And just so you know how it smells, listen to my cameraman when I roll the window down. <laughs> don't do it on me, Pasha, please. Oh, please don't throw up. Please don't do it, Masha. And only a 10 second drive away, we had our second mountain of trash. A mountain of trash. That is a lot of trash, Vivek. We're entering the slum, not a slum? Not a slum, it's a market, fish market. Fish market right across from the trash? That's the trash. Oh man, look at that. The trash mountain right next to the fish. Go, 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 open the door. It smells pretty bad in here. Hey, look at those flies, just eating away. The shrimp I ate at the hotel, from here probably, right? Oh, from here. Got some blood on the floor, a bunch yeah. of flies. Oh, yo. Life. Live fish right there, Vivek. These are eels, Vivek. Mm. These are eels. You want to yep. touch one? No, no, no. Cut them into pieces right there. We got a rat. We got a rat. Six nine. Six nine. Well, I toured the rat infested fish market. <coughs> My cameraman was coughing out cement particles. Fish heads, shrimp, big fish. What are your thoughts on geopolitics in India, sir? <laughs> ah, you're a jokester. You ever wonder where your breakfast, lunch, and dinner come from? Yeah, it's about to come back. Oh, don't tell me that. So, hope you become a vegetarian right, right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where are we headed next? <laughs> he doesn't even know. We headed to another slum right across the fish market and second trash mountain and immediately saw a cow stuck in a pool of poop. Get stuck. <laughs> yeah, we gotta hop out. Homie's yeah, stuck in the stuck. mud. He's stuck. They're gonna take it out of the poop. This is pretty ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, oh snap. <laughs> this is crazy. It takes a village. Can they get him out? He's almost free. They can do it. He's out. They've done it. They've done it. They've done it. Yeah! My boy! Yeah! Wow! Yes! A long day in the pool. India number one. India number one. He's back. He's back. He can never be stopped. Wow. Moral of the story is do not fall in a giant puddle of poop. There's a lot of poop out here. It smells really bad. Really bad and a lot of milk. This cow may have Down syndrome. No. No? 
Okay. So these are ranchers, essentially? No, these are just people just doing business for the milk. Okay. Look at all that poop. Look at all that poop. That is some crazy poop water. Water buffalo. These boys are big and unfiltered. Definitely stinks in here. Look, look at all that poop right there. He's got diarrhea. These guys are messy boys right here. This is the poop water coming right out of there. That definitely doesn't have any malaria, right? Beatles, from up Beatles. Oh, yo, that's unexpected. <laughs> water from the sky. Look at that, just shooting out. Now the trash mountain is literally right to my left. Keep in mind, it is right there. Whoa, look at all those crows. A lot of you guys have an easy spawn compared to what I just saw. This is no joke out here. This business is visible dirty. Some businesses are dirty, but they're not visible. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. After seeing the dairy slum, Vivek took me to the final and largest trash mountain where he said he could sneak me into a car into the top of trash mountain. You think, oh, what a beautiful scene, and then boom, you realize it's trash. Look at all of that. Yeah, this is trash mountain. This is our truck. We're gonna go up top. We're just in the truck right now. Pretty epic. Ask them how they like working here. This line of work dangerous. Does, does the mountain collapse sometimes? Oh, look at all that trash. What he's doing? out all the valuable stuff out of the garden. So That's how he makes his living. More scavengers right there with their metal rods. This is a surreal experience. Okay, we are on top of Trash Mountain right now. And look at this dog right here. This is sad, but every creature is adapting to their environment out here. But things like this little kid collecting materials with a magnetic rod while living in a tent, a committee of vultures circling above us, and melancholy trash-infused workers who say they can't even wash the smell away make this whole situation a hellish sight. Saying you're not allowed to make videos without permission. You see the government? Yeah. Are you sure? He's working for, yeah people here. We're getting kicked out. As we were kicked out of Trash Mountain, Vivek told me to tell whoever asked that I was a college student studying sanitation abroad as my cover-up story. No permission, no students. Are you permission? No permission, no permission. 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 Let's talk to the officer. Come. Huh? Vivek ushered for me to follow him to the front office. Given that my ascent to Trash Mountain was probably entirely illegal, I was hesitant. Will I come back? Yeah. At this point, Indian prison and losing the footage was my number one fear. What? Go past the gate. Come on with you. Listen to me. What? Because they need to talk to you. Let's go. We're done. Wow, not even taking into custody at Trash Mountain. My assertion of white male confidence had gotten us out of trouble and out of Trash Mountain unscathed. These people, they feel bossy. They want to have some extra income. That's all in India. What is India's goal and New Delhi's goal to kind of fix all this going forward? The government is already doing their part. Uh, switching off all the coal power stations using renewable energy. The future is much clearer. But the slums might still have landfills next to them. Right. That's just one of the costs New Delhi must pay to be clean overall? Yes. Okay reasonable ending to the story. Get a O News shirt, always biased, never informed. A lot of these videos are getting completely demonetized. We need your help to keep going. So I'd really appreciate it if you clicked onews.lol, bought a shirt. Love you guys. New video coming next week. Subscribe!